Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video on how to get AdGuard working on your uh, Open Media Vault as a container. This is going to be relatively a very easy guide, uh, easy to follow, uh, but let's jump right in. So first of all, we need to go ahead and create a, a Mac VLAN for the container. So what a Mac VLAN does, it just gives it an IP. You can set up an IP address, a static IP address in your network. So your container can just have that network. And the reason that we're doing that is because of the way of how many ports that are used on AdGuard. It's easier to manage if you were to create a, a Mac VLAN, even though it's not necessary to just have to forward different ports like port 53 when you have to make the changes. But in this case, we're going to do a Mac VLAN. And before I do that, um, I know there's a lot of confusion as how to create the Mac VLAN when you do the subnet and all and all that, right? Um, I'll put a timestamp so you can skip ahead if you know about this part. But first off, we're just going to go ahead and go into here on, on Compose. We're going to go to Networks. And before I create the network, let me explain how my router is set up. And uh, each, everyone's environment is going to be different, but I'll show you mine. So right now, this is my main LAN network, and this is my subnet. Uh, Yours might be 192.168 or 172. I mean, it just depends on your environment. But I just want to show you why I always put IP address on the on the low 100 range because I have my DHCP to give addresses from 100 to 225. So I could essentially I have all the first 90 98 IP addresses available to me, and I also have like another 24 addresses available to me here in the end. So that's the range or the subnet that I'm going to be using. So if I copy this right from my from my router, right, and we go back into Open Media Vault, I can just go ahead and do a create. I'm going to name this local network. And that's the way I'm going to specify it on the compose file. So this is important because you need to specify it on the compose. And now here you're going to set up Mac VLAN parent network this is the main network that you're using for the connection on your open media vault so i'm going to select this one ens18 subnet this is the subnet that i was saying uh, so if you have 182.168 this is where you're going to put that uh, make sure it's in this in this uh, syntax gateway in my case or for most cases it's, you, it always ends at one so 10.0.0.1 yours might be 182.168.1.1 or Dot zero dot one so it just depends on what you have now this is the part that gets people confused but um, i realized that you don't need to specify this this is just to make like a dcp within this mac vlan network so i'm not gonna specify this all right so that created our local network so now we're gonna go to docker hub and we're gonna search for adguard and the one that I'm that we'll be using is this one right here, the AdGuard, AdGuard Home. Now in here you're gonna notice that this one does not have the the YAML file or the compose file, but there's two ways of doing it. You can just go ahead and copy this and add it to a website. It's called Com Compose Composer. I think that's what it's called. But in our case, I'm gonna go ahead and post the YAML file already ready for. Uh, so you can copy it straight from my github. So that's what I'm gonna do. I already converted the file for For you guys. So uh, I'm just going back here. I'm just gonna compose files I'm just gonna add I'm just gonna name this add guard Now here I'm gonna paste the file now what's important is Like if you want to give it a different name, this one's gonna be called this is the container name add guard home um the only changes that you would have to be doing is this IP address. So when I turn on this container, this is the address that is going to be used. Uh, this IP address would be like to your environment, right? So it's like if you have a different network, it will be like 192.168.1. something. So this would depend on your network. Now the compose files, we already have this uh, compose path setups. Uh, this is all the ports that are used for uh, the ad guard. And this is why I was saying that if you were to not use uh, Mac VLAN, you would have to change all like the 53, the port 80, the port 443, because all of those are used by Open Media Vault already. 
Now here in the bottom, very important is the networks. This is just the name of the network uh, for the container. But this one here, this is what links it to that Mac VLAN that we created earlier. So basically that should be it. So just save it. And we can go ahead and uh, click up. It's gonna download the image file. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up a new tab and you're gonna specify the IP that you put there on the compose file. So in my case, it was this 10.0.0.86 and then you're gonna do colon 3000, so 3000. Um, so if you guys missed that, uh, the IP would be the one that you specified in here. You have to use colon 3000 for the initial setup. You're gonna do get started. You can leave the defaults just saying it's gonna the admin interface is gonna be on port 80 and the DNS server is gonna respond on port 53. Here you have to create your login password. I'm just gonna create a generic. Now it's just if you read this, it's just gonna tell you how you can enter. Uh, if you want to change the so you can start pointing your router to this IP address. So this the AdGuard can do your DNSing. Uh, there's different instructions in here based on the device that you have. Um, so I'm just gonna click next. I'm gonna open up the dashboard. You sign in again. All right, so here do we have the AdGuard. Now there's a lot of things in here. I'm not gonna go too much in detail, but I'll give you a little rundown. Here, say general settings. Have you wanna? How often you wanna update your filters? These are on another screen. Uh, your logs, the statistical. Oh, you also you wanna change it to dark mode. Here's the moon right here. So I'll do that. To be better for you guys on on your eyes. Uh, DNA settings. This is if you wanna put a different. If you wanna use different uh, DNS providers, like in this one, it's actually pointing to quad nine and it's using the unfiltered one so we can actually go into quad nine if you're curious and then you click here more options you can find that the one that they provided is this one right here um, so it's pointing into this this is what it's currently set up um, the one that i use on my router I just use 9999 and 149.112.112.112. But if you want to change it, you can just go ahead and copy it like this. Uh, you can specify it and just override it. You can add more in here. You want to add more of those. DNS entries. You don't have to make this change. It's just that the one that I that I use is the one that does malware blocking. But since this is AdGuard, um, that there's also block IP block list within this. so. Um, so that's just one setting. Now, this is in case that you're not able to resolve the top, you would have to, you would go through a backup of this. So on my case, I said I use the nines. It just depends on what you're going to do on yours. This is 112. So I'm going to apply. You can test successfully. Working correctly. Now here it gets more into the if you want to do DNSSEC. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into this, but it's kind of like uh, verifying your the servers that are providing the DNS entries. And then more on like the timing on the cache, access settings, what allowed clients disallowed. Okay, so that's DNS settings, and then we got encryption. Here, this is if you want to enable this site to be HTTPS uh, encrypted. And then if you want to use DNS over HTTPS, if you do end up going this route, you have to provide some certificates and they have to come through. Um, so let's encrypt or if you own a domain, you would have the certificates for this. Um, I do have a domain, but um, I haven't got it into this type of configuration. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Client settings. Once you start uh, using this, uh, you end up seeing traffic or like this is my computer right now that I'm 
uh, showing here. DHCP, this is if you want to have your ad guard be a DNS, a DHCP provider. So if you want this to be giving IP address, this is what that is. Now here on filter block list, this is what I was talking about. This is the IP block list. So right now by default, this was the one. Uh, if you want to block like more, you can like, this is the list to use. They're the default ones. You can click them and it'll show you what is blocking, right? But you can also add manual if you want to add some more Add a custom list and you can add your own. Okay, the allow list. This is if in case that you have a domain that you don't want to block, you go ahead and add it in here and you will overwrite the allow list. DNS rewrites. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think this is when you have, if you specify a name on one of your clients and, and you specify a DNS entry with a private IP address, I think it would route that way. I'm not exactly sure. I think that's what it is. Block services. This is if you want to block certain things. Uh, at a category level, you have all of this in here. Custom filtering, if you want to get all uh, techy about it. Now query log. This is what uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you. So to test this, uh, what we can do is we can open up, or I guess I can tell you how to do it on the router. So I have PFSense and there's two ways of doing this. So um, like if, for instance, in my guest network, I specify that I want to use this DNS servers in here. So in the case that you want AdGuard to be the one that is responsible, you can add the IP address for the AdGuard. So in my case, 10.0.0.86, that's one way. But if you notice on my LAN network, my main network, this one doesn't have it here because it's using the router. In this case, if you're using PFSense, you would go to system and then general setup, and you're going to see that I have my DNS services in here. So in here, you would change this DNS server and you would put the uh, address for AdGuard, which will be in my case, 10.0.0.86. You need to remove this because this is for my DNS for quad nine, right? So, and then this one, you would need to remove it unless you have two AdGuards. And that would send all the requests that come in through my main LAN, uh, through my router and the router is going to query the AdGuard. Now for now, for testing purposes, we're going to go ahead and show you how we can test this. So if we go ahead and open up a little a command line and we do an NS lookup. Um, right now you see how this one's responding the 10.0.0.1 that is my router. But if you do server and then you specify the IP address of your uh, ad guard. Now I'm using that one as the uh, my ad guard as the DCP server. Now I can do a uh, who's google.com right or Yahoo. Now if we go back to the page here to add guard and do we refresh. Now you're going to start seeing all the traffic. Now we can go to dashboard, uh, refresh statistics. And this is all the information that the ad guard collects. I mean, I'll be all for this video, just a short video kind of explaining this. Um, I know there's a lot more advanced guides out there, uh, but I guess for now, this would be a good starting point. Um, I'll go ahead and put this YAML file in my GitHub and I'll provide an, a URL to my GitHub so you guys can just copy it. The only thing that will change would be the IP address if you have a different one and maybe the name if you create the Mac address, I mean the Mac VLAN network differently. Uh, but that's all guys. Thanks very much for any questions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I uh, really appreciate the community support. Uh, we just broke a thousand subscribers, so thanks, huh?